here at NOC AD. We enhance capability and operational readiness for our naval aviation and our warfighters. We're in the South Engineering Facility here at Naval Air Station Patuxent River. And in this facility, there's about 40 labs. Over a dozen of them are dedicated to some type of human system. So almost anything that touches a human will have a lab associated with it. And the mission of it is to improve engineering design so we have greater lethality of our operational forces and basically to promote aviation safety and prevent aviation mishaps. What's new about NOC AD, we've expanded our aeromedical capability to help with the engineering process. So this is the first time UMED has been asked to provide more aeromedical expertise in-house to include practicing clinicians, physicians, vision scientists, research physiologists, and audiologists. And that way, the engineers have people they can directly go to and say, what does this really mean? We're gonna put a human in an aircraft and have them expose them to this type of system. What does that really mean to the human? And engineers are learning how much more complex humans really are. We're all very different. We come in different shapes and sizes and we have different human performance levels. So we can help them scale what they need to design and engineer things that can incorporate all of us and all of our human performance so we're safer in the aircraft and we can maintain our mission capability. Several of our labs include vision labs that look at eye protection solutions and laser eye protection as well, including night vision lab to enhance night vision and night vision goggles. We have altitude labs. So they can simulate an altitude that an aircraft can achieve, and we can measure the performance if they're exposed to those types of altitude. And we have oxygen and gas labs that look at breathing gases, breathing gas mixtures, and how well we can deliver oxygen to protect our air crew. We also have an auditory performance lab. So there we have echoic chambers, and we can measure exactly how well uh, our hearing protection can work and what can be done to improve it. And we have a horizontal acceleration lab, which also goes in conjunction with our crash worthiness lab. So we can look at survivability of an impact. We would have to understand the forces in a crash. If we can do that, if all else fails, hopefully somebody will be able to walk away from an event. And then we have the environmental physiologic human performance lab. They look at the different environments we can put humans in. For example, we can turn up the heat and humidity in a lab and put a human separate in and have them test new safety equipment. And we have to get feedback from people to tell us how well they think it works. If it enhances their performance or degrades their performance, we can hear directly from air crew about what their experiences are. We can gain more insight from that. We're very lucky that fortunately most of us have come from the fleet and we're used to mission specific tasking. We understand these labs have certain capabilities and that's really important. But what we want to know is how these capabilities will answer questions for the fleet to get their mission done. If you have a question or an issue that you want someone to look into, and it's perfectly okay to reach out and say, hey, we had this issue in the aircraft, or we had this question about the human relation performance of this aircraft, because we're here for you. We're here to make you more mission capable. But when it comes to the actual flight, we're here to make you more lethal. That's why this organization exists. And the end result is we come back to you with the answers you need to keep pressing forward.